24 years ago, <laughs> nutritionist Donna Weihoffen cooked Thanksgiving dinner at 3 o'clock in the morning for the staff on the morning show. We've let, her, we've let her sleep in since then, and Donna remains one of the things we're most thankful for this holiday season. This is Thank such a you. fun tradition, it Donna. So Thank you. It is so much fun for me, too. And, you know, even though it looks complicated, it's one of my easier shows because turkey is easy to do. It, it, it's intimidating. It is intimidating, but it's so super easy. Once you get it thawed out and make sure it's thought, completely thawed and take out the bags because some people forget to take out the bags. Oh. And it's like it's like a, a day for every five pounds or something. Yes. It's a long time. You remember that. Well, remember a couple I years ago, I poked mine and it was hard as a rock, like a day before Thanksgiving. Oh, I thought, this tough. is not going to be that's good. Tough. Then cold water. Sink Cold water, okay. cold water. And then wash it off. And one of the things you want to do is not dance it around your kitchen. You want to keep it in one place, like in the sink, and wash it off and then put it into your pan and grease your pan. Um, one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of brining and doing all these things is because you're moving it around and, you know, it's a contaminated thing when it's raw. Mm -hmm. And so you should wash out your sink afterwards, too. You've tried the brining, right? I did. I tried it one year and it was a disaster. Oh, no. It was a big mess in my fridge and it really yeah. didn't taste any different. And what about deep frying? I don't think so. Well, people love it. You know, everybody does their own thing and people who brine believe in it. But it's, I personally don't think it's necessary. Look at this gorgeous bird. It's an 18 it's pounder? Yeah, 18 pounds. And also the stuffing is not, I did not put a bread stuffing on the inside. But you, I put in, look at a big onion and carrots and maybe celery. Now why don't you, why don't you stuff it? Um, I think it's, it's tougher to do. It, it's messier and the stuffing has to get to 165. And it, you know this bird is insulating it. And if the stuffing has meat in it, it's in a warm temperature for a long period of time. And this is so your best friend. It's safer. Best friend. You <laughs> must have a thermometer and put it in the deepest part of the thigh, which would be right through here. Put it in right through there. And um, it should be 165 degrees. I think, I think the hardest part, too, is trying to keep the breast moist right. while the underside cooks. What's that, your trick and for that? My trick for that is to tent it lightly with foil. So it's, I tented it lightly until the last half hour and then took off the foil tent, but not just pack it because then you're steaming it just lightly. And then take it off, and if it's not quite brown enough, put it under the broiler for just a few seconds to brown it. This guy, got one little brown spot. <laughs> <laughs> little too close well, to the broiler. One little brown spot, but otherwise he's gorgeous. It now, looks how like you, how, oh, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, I was going to say, it looks like you put some seasonings on the I outside, did, too. I, I did. I all I, the only seasoning I put on was Lori seasoning, salt, and a little paprika. Okay. And that helped make it brown, too. And the time? How long do you cook? Well, it, it's, on, it's on the website, but for this one, it took about four hours, 18 pounds. Okay. So how do you what, do the math in your head? Is it like an hour per pound, or what did you well, do? Well, it's no, 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 no. It's you. That'd be 18 hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean you better put it in today. <laughs> I didn't mean cooking time. I meant serving time. Look on the website. <laughs> all right, we're got, gonna. I, I have turkey tips. It, it, all, all listed out. Okay, we're gonna look at all the sides oh, come after back. the break. Stay around. <laughs> Don't go. Don't come back. We're cooking Thanksgiving dinner with Donna Weihoff, and it is National Eat Cranberry Day. Oh, and it's wonderful. I, I made <laughs> I this cranberry I sauce. <laughs> I go to, I'm in a group called Recipe Share, and people bring recipes to share. And a gal named Lynn brought this one, and I thought it was mm. so good. And it has raisins and cranberries and um, dried apricots and cranberries. Ooh, good idea. And sweetened with, and has orange juice in it. It's very and nice. it's got I a little tang it. to it. Mm -hmm. oh, it's, it's just Want to try it? I know you're not you, a cranberry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, Susan. Sweet, it's sweet mm. with sugar, but I use half Splenda, so then you don't have to waste all the calories. Because mm. a lot, it's a lot of calories if you use only sugar. Famous mm -hmm. mashed potatoes. But, oh, no, these are, you just, you know, these I'm going to be serving to my company on Thursday. <laughs> I hope they're not watching. Because <laughs> I make these every yes, single yeah. year. Yeah. yeah, they'll still be good, I promise. Yeah, you can put them in the refrigerator and they are good for days and days and days because they work so good. And what's the secret the in them? The secret is, is reduced fat cream cheese, reduced fat sour cream, and white pepper. Now, on, I saw on a recipe on Food Network, we used cream and butter, a whole stick of butter. This is no butter. It's really not necessary. And speaking about fat, this is the amount of fat in the turkey. That came from this turkey. From that turkey. This is all fat. All fat. So those, it's 100 calories a table, so when you've got to get rid of the fat before you make your gravy. This, this is the part you're using for the gravy. Right, right. Well, how it's do you gonna, separate it? By gravy separator. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's like salad. I have a beautiful salad. Jennifer Allen, again, from the same group, we had this salad, and it's greens with apples, and then I'm going to put on some walnuts. And this is the secret. 
I cut cranberries in half. It doesn't, it's not as hard as you think. And then marinated them in sugar. And I'm gonna put this over the top. I love Look. the idea of having a green salad for yeah, Thanksgiving. I, you usually, just read my mind. I was just have, you know, the that. creamy green beans or something and like that. Look right. at this, and then I have a dressing. You can use any dressing you like, but mine is made out of equal parts of maple syrup, cider vinegar, and olive oil with a touch of um, Dijon mustard, Ooh, and that's that what holds it together. Wonderful. I'm gonna pour that over the top. But look at this gorgeous salad. So a lot really, of people are intimidated by all of this, but it's not that hard. Look at, you know, all of this is made ahead. So my guess is that you're watching. <laughs> you're busted. Embarrassed to say, are going to get all of this. Plus, I'll probably make a sweet potato dish too. So. Can you give us sort of carving 101 too, Donna? What's the you're, appropriate you're way to carve? You're actually supposed to take this breast off, cut it off, and and like then like right down the bone mm -hmm, there, and cut it off here. First, take off the legs, and then cut the breast this way, and it's supposed to be better. M more tender. And you could s cut up this onion and eat that too if you wanted to? Ray would like it. Yeah, I would too. I like, <laughs> I like onions yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is, you know, Thanksgiving is easier than you think. Make all your sides ahead. Somebody uh, texted me and said, can I make my, I made my turkey ahead the day before uh, last year and it was so dry. I said, well, don't make it the day before. <laughs> yeah, not the turkey. <laughs> probably, not the turkey. Is it too know? late now to get a frozen turkey? Um, you'd have to put it in, in cold water. And that's, and you got to change the water. You, you know, just keep cold water. Should I be defrosting mine already? You, you think? Been? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take this one. <laughs> it will be too yeah. soon. <laughs> All the recipes at channel3000.com. Donna, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. No, are you, what's, what are you doing? Is your We're, family coming? Or? No, that's why I'm having my friends. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's fun. My kids aren't coming this year. Oh, All right. that's great. Okay. That's great. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Happy Donna. Thanksgiving. Have a great holiday. We'll be right back.